Um, okay. Uh, this week's blue white game is Saturday at two o'clock. Wow. Penn State will play Penn State. Uh, this is your blue white preview. Um, I don't know. I, I, uh, I said to you as we were kind of coming down with our content list of what we're going to talk about. I haven't really formulated my thoughts on the Penn State football season or Penn State spring practice or anything of that matter quite yet. So I think this is going to be the first tapping of the well. Um, so here we go. This is all very raw and random. And here's where I'm at with the season. I think Penn State really has to make the playoff. I think just in the eyes of everybody involved in this conversation, everybody, it's just, and maybe it's just my personal stress, stress levels of, I don't want to just deal with the life of Penn State not making the playoff because I just really feel like they have to make the playoff this year. And I, I hate the hold the gun to someone's head type thing, but that's really where I'm at with it. I'm interested to see how this team matures because this will be kind of year three of, of this core um, between Drew, the running backs, and Abdul. Um, I feel for the most part, I think the roster turnover isn't going to be that aggressive or concerning to me. Um, I think the wide receiver thing is still going to be the biggest issue. And uh, that is very much until proven otherwise. Um, I, I feel very much solid about Penn State's defense. And I'm, I'm excited to watch Penn State's defense under, under Tom Allen. Um, so those are my initial 30 seconds of thought that I've given the Penn State 2024 Penn State football season. So what you, you'll be in the stadium on Saturday. What, what, you, what will you be watching for? Well, I don't know if I'm going to be in the stadium on Saturday because it's very much weather dependent. With it's going to be dry. Situation. I, but it's supposed to rain all week. And mud. I have to, I, I have to park out. I'm not rich enough, Steve. I can't park on pavement. Um, yeah, there's wealthy people. I know. Um, what no, would you, I, if, if you were to if be in the I stadium, was in the stadium you, if you do go into the stadium, what would you like to see? What, do you, what, what would you focus on? I'm interested to see the energy levels. Because I think the thing that has come through in the media, um, make that face of me. Um, I think the thing that I'm most interested to see the energy levels because I just last year kind of ended disappointingly, but yeah, last year was also a building block year kind of looking back on it. Um, in a lot of ways for that core of guys that we mentioned, I'm interested to see what the energy levels are like, because we keep getting, hearing this about Andy Kotelnicki. We keep hearing this about Tom Allen. That there's a refreshing air um, but I've read multiple different columns angles on this refreshing air around practice at, at the Lash building. And I want to see if I can see that. Um, and then I'm just going to completely forget about it. And we'll, we'll really start to pay attention to it come July. Sure. Sure. Is that fair? Sure. So you're, so if the weather's, made the parking lots wet, you aren't going to come and park and just not, you're going to watch it on TV. Well, here's the deal. Like, I don't, Okay. Like, I don't like the whole point, the whole benefit of blue white game, blue white game is I can park wherever I want usually. Now I am assigned parking and I like to park oh, on the pavement. Gotcha. Um, and so that's a big plus because then, I, like, here's a simple, here's one, one of the main reasons. If I have to go to the bathroom, I can, I can just walk right into the stadium, leave, come back and go back into the game type thing. Now I gotta, I, I can't do that. I have to, so. I don't, I don't know. That's why I'm very whatever about the weather. Mainly do you know what that is? And I haven't used that in this podcast. I don't think I've ever used this in this podcast. Do you know what that is? And it's a specific one too. Wow. I can't believe I've never done this before. What? That is the man keeping you down. And that man <sighs> is Pat Kraft. Fight the power. Are you trying to get me riled up after? <laughs> no, but I, for, I, when you said parking, I totally forgot open parking for blue white and you were losing like, just cause I don't. Legitimately, I think it's, I, did I rant about this last week? I don't think you've complained about the parking. Okay, can I last rant about week it? Now? It was last week. It was student ticketing. So yes, you have time to okay, talk about the parking. Right. Um, I just think it's kind of BS. Like the whole point of the blue white game is the one we've talked about this before. We talked about this every year. It's the one affordable time that any family can show up and bring your fam family to the game and have a good day, have a fun day about mm -hmm. Penn State football. And now we have to either have day of parking which i'm fine if they want to charge me for parking because it's no different 
like it's they're either charging me for parking or they're charging me for a ticket to go into the game and that's fine i don't care what they do with that money um but like it makes no sense like they have all of the lots for the same day day of game parking out way out in the cow fields who's gonna want to who's gonna want to park there like who knows to park there everybody i, I don't know I'm grumpy about blue white, so that or that's why I'm grumpy about this weekend. I'm yeah. I'm, I'm really just grumpy. now reading the rules. Like, it's, so it went from was was park. Did you get? Did you have to pay for parking last year? Well, it, no, it was part it of your was, season ticket package. Part of the season ticket package, I think. And I think it's like the last few years you've had to pay for it. Okay. Regardless, but but never you could just pay and park wherever. So like the whole thing about blue white is, is not necessarily about the game. It's to hang out with your friends and then go to the game. Now I'm forced to, as a fan to choose between going to the game and parking where I'm supposed to park or like, how am I going to get all my tailgate stuff over to the other tailgate that's in the other lot when last year I could just, we could all pull in together. And I think that's a big value for the spring game is, there's no there's no meaning to this game. It's a practice. So the meaning is comes from the communal aspect that we get. And I don't know, it just annoyed me that we preach this and marketing aspect of it. And then the actuality of it, we don't get that. I thought way too much about this. No, you're not wrong. It's it's I forget if I use the line somewhere, right? It's 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 all about the community and group until and the we until until it's not right till you have to pay us for it so it'll be interesting to see if people care like i i've been it's been funny to watch people complaining about parking for the concert in two weeks right like the luke yeah. combs parking right 100 bucks the stadium or 60 in the lots but at the same time if you and i think this is a, this is a fault on them and their marketing and promotion stuff right they should have been either upfront about it or just put it out there but again, if you're going to go see a concert like this in Pittsburgh and you're from Center County, do you drive there with gas and, and pay the parking, whatever that is there, you're close to this number. And, and you and you save the time and having to drive. And there are other options. And I think the thing that they, and it would sound like excuse making if they did it, but it would still be potentially honest. And I, and, but they, they won't do it, won't share it. Luke Combs is doing two nights in every football stadium he's going to go to except this one. He's only doing one. And I assume he's probably not giving Penn State a break on how much it costs for him to show up. Maybe he is. But they're probably trying to make a decent amount of revenue in one night that other people are making in two. So I think there's ways they could have messaged that better as well. And again, any change now that's coming, yeah, and maybe I'll be the first. Oh, that's they're raising some more NIL money, right? Like anything they can get money for, they're going to get money for it, feels like. And that's just a change, which is noticeable. It's noticeable, but my problem with it is is the it goes back to what you said in the very first sentence there is the communication level and i feel like between the the, the student season ticket thing between the parking thing because they they didn't announce that up mm -hmm. front when people bought their tickets because and tickets didn't seem don't seem to be that cheap for this concert i mean I, i'm not a country guy so i don't know the draw of luke combs um per se but i think and then goes back to the, the the NIL, or I'm sorry, the Nittany Lion Club donation increasing on season tickets this year. Just be, if you be upfront with it and, and say, hey, here's why we're doing this. Here's how we're doing this. Maybe you show me that you put a little more thought into it than you necessarily did. That's re the, the student ticket situation in particular. I think as a fan, I can at least digest that a little bit better. Um, and that's why I'm having a, a tough time with all of this kind of this, so now four or five things in a row that's just kind of annoying that the communication here goes a long way. That's fair. Okay. Um, any any football thoughts at all? Uh, I think you're right. I think as we look for the fall, I think the playoff is going to be what people expect, you know, have as an expectation. Um, I just there's just so little that I think you can gain from watching blue white or, or that need yeah. as, as long as nobody gets hurt. Like I can't even, you know, maybe there's a lineman right who came in in now and, and is after 15 practices. Maybe you can see if he's half decent holding himself up against somebody who's been here longer. Maybe that's interesting if you're really there. But you know, as long as some wide receiver isn't dropping the ball six times and nobody gets hurt, like I it's hard for me to put much value in this because I've seen so many spring games here and other places where like some running back runs for 125 yards and like, Oh, it's going to be the, that pit. It was Tim Colicchio. It's going to be the Tim Colicchio era. 
Tim Colicchio's era ended when that blue and when that whatever whatever pick colors are ended that spring that he was playing running back. Like that was the era. It was those two hours when he was in a spring game. You know, so there's not a lot. We must bring him up at this point. Shout yeah. out to Cole Chipielli, the the greatest exactly. game performance right. I've ever right. seen. Right. Um, Shane McGregor, as much as I love Shane, yes. Shane McGregor's performance in the blue white game also up there um, yep. as well. Um, yeah, no, I think that's a good, uh, I think that's a good way to see it. I think the other, the most intriguing or exciting thing isn't even the offense or defense styles to me and how they're presented. It's to see the reaction Julian Fleming gets. I, I think no, that will sure. be the most exciting part of, of Saturday. Yeah, that's um, fair. So, Okay.